Hi uh, guys, Ali Pierce at the ranch. <laughs> I got a quiz for you. What is this? What is this? Exactly. Nobody knows what this is. I didn't know what this was until a little while ago, and I was trying to figure out how to solve problems. All of these videos, almost invariably anyway, are about problems I have running the ranch. You know, horses and, and, and firewood and the big house and the barn and the shed and the machine. I mean, I have a problem and then I find a solution and I share it with you. Maybe there's something in here for you. This is called a blowout kit. Now, a kit might be a little bit of an exaggeration because there's really one piece. Well, no, this adapter comes off, so maybe that's... Maybe that's why it's a kit, eh, Kevin? Because there's two pieces? Yeah, okay. Blowout kit. Yeah, right, okay. So here's the problem, first of all. Sometimes I have things around that are full of water or something else, but generally water, and I need to get the water out, whatever it is, uh, uh, it, because it gets cold here in the wintertime. Yeah, we're in Canada. Uh, it does get cold and things freeze. You cannot have water in, in, in pipes or anything. It freezes, it bursts, and now you're... Now you're faced with a very big bill, replacing plumbing, whatever it is. We have, for example, we have a 100-foot a hose that runs from our, uh, our windmill right to the backyard, along the house and down the hill to the backyard. Danny uses the windmill water to water the gardens, their vegetable garden and other gardens. That way we're not using the good uh, filtered, sanitized water uh, in the house. And, and uh, as well, uh, we have a travel trailer, and the travel trailer has water through all the lines, and you need to get all that water out as much as you can. Now, we take the water out of the travel trailer lines, and we use antifreeze, because perhaps some of you folks that have travel trailers have discovered to your chagrin that if you take the water out, even if you blow it out, you can still get frozen lines because even if you blow the water out of all the lines, there's water on the lines, a little wee bit of thin film of water on the lines, and eventually that water will run down to the lowest point. It'll settle down there and freeze. So we, uh, we blow it out first, and then we put in antifreeze as well. That's a couple of examples uh, how where this kit helps. So previously, what I used to do, I would take one of my blowouts, you see, I stick it in the hose, and I would try to seal it, you know, with some paper towel or some cloth or tape or something. And so it would, anyway, solve the problem. I see this on, I think I got it on Amazon, actually, but I see this on there and say, hey, gosh, that's great, I can make that. So I was going to get a hose, and this is simply a male three-quarter inch water hose, not three-quarter inch threaded. You got to be careful because there's two different your three-quarter inch threaded, which is a true three-quarter inch thread, like a, like a hex bolt thread. No, that's not it. It has to be water type. Wa water categorizes a water three-quarter inch stamp. And then on this end, there's, there's just a standard M type, uh, M type, I think it's an M type uh, uh, air hose that connects to one of these like that. Okay. okay. And they've even put a little on-off valve in here as well, which is pretty handy. So that way you can put the hose on and then... So I think I can get all that. I can get that and I can get that and I can get this and I can get that. Yeah. <laughs> and all those bits and pieces all put together with Teflon tape would take an hour of my time after I went and shopped and got them all. And it'd take an hour of my time and uh, probably cost me... probably $35, $40 with tax, a better part of $50. Yeah, this was $13 on Amazon. So guess what? Yeah, yeah. The only mistake I made is I didn't buy two of them. But anyway, I don't need two of them. So there it is. So what does it do exactly? Well, as I kind of half explained to you, all you need to do now, if you're trying to blow out lines, is put your air line under the standard M. And now put this onto whatever water hose or water type fitting that you're trying to clear out. So if I'm trying to clear out <clears throat> the water hose that runs out there, this end of the water hose that goes onto a tap, of course, is female. So it just goes right on there. So it's female, just like this. It goes right on there, you see? And then you open the valve and blow the hose out. Just that easy. Okay? If by some chance, wherever you're working, uh, you, you need to have a female fitting here. This is a male fitting. I hope I don't explain this to you. This is a male fitting. Yeah. Uh, that's what this accessory is for that comes with it. It's got washers on both sides, so you can thread this on to the male end. And now you have a three-quarter inch water hose type thread female. So now you can put a male type fitting into that. Same thing. Blow it out. So I thought it was really, really handy. 
pop the air line off, take the uh, off the hose, put it away. Don't forget to blow the water out. <laughs> anyway, there you go, guys. Don't know if you've ever seen one. I saw it. I have a great idea, and it's going to save me a lot of time this winter. It's uh, September an hour or something like that. So pretty soon I'll be using this around the ranch, uh, lots of different places to clear the water out. Water blowout kit. I think that's what it's called on Amazon. Take a look. Just might be really handy for you. Hope there was something in there for you, guys. I'll be looking for more problems that I can solve and maybe help you with them, too. Alec Pierce at the ranch. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.